I call the member for Denison. Speaker, my the question member is to the health Port minister. Cease interjecting. The member for Denison will start again. Speaker, my question is to the health minister. Minister, mental illness affects one in five Australians every year, often in dreadful ways, and especially in Tasmania. Clearly, a better approach is desperately needed at both federal and state levels. Yet the National Mental Health Commission's review of mental health programs and services has been shunted off to another committee. Minister, what's going on and when will the community see some big changes for the better? I call the Minister for Health. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker, and can I thank the member for Denison and I appreciate his ongoing engagement with me on these very important matters. And it is correct. More than half of us will suffer some form of mental ill health over our lifetime. Last week I released a report into child and adolescent, adolescent mental health which revealed that one in seven children and young people suffers from a mental health disorder and one in ten teenagers has attempted some form of harm, self-harm. So on coming into government, uh, Mr Speaker, we promised a review. Uh, the National Mental Health Commission, appointed by the previous government, was tasked by us to conduct this review, and we received it. And it found uh, it found an alarming and disturbing picture of the patchwork of mental health services, poorly targeted, and most importantly, not producing the goods for the consumers and their families. There were three key themes to this report. Uh, that early intervention and community-based service makes a real difference. That stepped care is the most appropriate form of care. The level of severity should be matched to the form of care that's available to the patient. And that a local regionalised approach works best. Uh, as we know only too well, Canberra doesn't always know best, and local solutions provided by good groups in the community can make a real and lasting difference. So uh, the government heartily endorses the, <coughs> these three key themes of the National Mental Health Commission's review. So recently, Mr Speaker, I tasked Kate Carnell and an expert reference group with not another review, member for De Denison with great respect, but this is a task force about implementation, how we translate these important recommendations into government policy and a funding mechanism that makes sense through two levels of government, and that, of course, is a very complex process. So um, that's not a uh, that's a time limited process. I keep in regular contact with Kate Carnell, a very good person in this space, as we all recognise, and we also all recognise, as members of Parliament, that. There, is, there are important changes to be made. Uh, we all see people with mental health conditions come through our door, and we all know that it's really hard for somebody who's perfectly well to navigate the system, let alone somebody who's struggling. Mr Speaker, um, Kate Carnell's group will be reporting to me soon. Uh, I will uh, make some strong statements. The government will make strong statements about policy reform before the end of the year, and I look forward to the parliament's support uh, with these reforms, as well as our key uh, measures in the area of the NDIS, making a real positive difference to those experiencing ill mental health, their families and their carers. Yeah.